Hi folks and welcome to another little video from Brummy in the Highlands. I've escaped the black hole once again, I'm getting used to this. People are letting me off the black hole now, which is good. Now I've come down, I've travelled all the way down through Inverness and down the A82 to a little village called Dock Garrick. Now it's just one of the villages before you get to Loch Ness. And uh, the reason I've stopped off here, because there's a new visitor centre called Antalabai Loch Ness. And uh, this is where you catch the boat tours from as well. If you want to go out onto Loch Ness, this is where you'd come to. Now we'll have a look round. We'll go and have a look round outside Antella and have a wonder about by the Caledonian Canal, down by where the boats are. So here we are. We're just approaching the main visitor centre, Antella by Loch Ness. And you can see that they're starting to set up for Christmas because I think they're going to have a Christmas market here soon. So just as we make our way down, that's the main entrance there for the little gift shop which leads into the restaurant or the cafe just at the rear of the building. A big car park so plenty of places to park and then we'll just walk through this archway. That's all going to be lit up at Christmas, that looks lovely doesn't it? And then you've got the courtyard area and an ice cream parlour there. There we go, there's the courtyard area. Not many people eating outside today. And there we go, that's the ice cream parlour there. Now you can see the courtyard area again there that's where you can sit on a lovely day and the indoor section of the restaurant as well just in there so just as we go through the courtyard area we'll come out onto the Caledonian Canal and this is a lovely spot for a walk it really is you can turn left here just up there that will take you up to Inverness along the canal you can see Dock Garrick Lock Gates there. And this is the boat departure point. If you want to go out onto Loch Ness and look for that elusive monster. And then if we look to our right there, you can just see to the right one of the um, Jacobite Cruises vessels there. The Jacobite Maverick, which is moored up just on the, the right there. That's not in service today because we're out of season now. They just run the one boat and that's out on the lock somewhere looking for the monster. So it's quite miserable today. It's a little bit wet, a little bit windy. It's still quite mild though for the time of year, which is good. So you can see the lock now. This is Dock Garrick Lock and it is just a balancing lock. It doesn't raise or lower the boats too high or low. Just about a metre because it's a balancing lock between the Caledonian Canal, which is up there on the left, and the Caledonian Canal that goes out towards Dock, uh, dock 4, Lock Dock 4. So just a small rise and fall on this particular lock. So we'll make our way over the lock gate and to the other side of the canal. As you can see, there's lots of boats stretching up there, moored up at the canal. So you can walk all along there up to Inverness, now I don't look down here because it's quite a drop. We we'll just walk across the lock gates again and we'll come on to the other side of the canal. Now if we follow this, if we turn right as we come off this lock gate, I'm not sure if you can see it yet, but uh, on the right hand side here, you've got the Caledonian Canal. And then on the left hand side, that's the River Ness that you can see in the distance there. Now that flows all the way through Inverness, it's one of the shortest rivers in the UK. I think it's about six miles long, but uh, don't quote me on that. There we go, it's quite a shallow river as well, so uh, you get lots of fishermen doing the salmon fishing in there, but you do need a permit. So we'll walk to the end of this bit of land, 
and then you should be able to get a good view of where the River Ness starts. So just as we make our way along this uh, towpath, you can see the River Ness there through the trees. And as I pan round, you'll get another view of the Caledonian Canal. And there's the Jacobite Maverick sitting elegantly there. So we're just making our way towards the end of this uh, towpath and you can see to the right there that's the A82 that's the main road that runs all the way down past Loch Ness and down to Fort Augustus and on to Glasgow eventually but the water's so calm today look it's like a mirror and you can see all the little privately owned boats moored up there and some are residential The Caledonian Canal. Yeah, we're just at the end of the uh, spit now, the, the canal towpath. Now you can see that you've got a very fast flowing water there from the Caledonian Canal across this weir. Now what you've got there, you've got the Caledonian Canal on the right there and then the water that's running off it to the left is the very very start of the River Ness isn't that gorgeous now the River Ness is very shallow so obviously to keep the boats on the correct part of the water onto the correct part of the canal they put those chevrons there that you can see in the distance the chevrons now that's to make sure that the boats stay to the right hand side because if they were to veer to the left there, if they were coming through from Dock Garrick, then they would get grounded. And that does happen. That does happen quite a lot. I've seen lots and lots of boats stranded just here in front of us. Now we'll just take a wander across to the left. This is the Lover's Bench as it's called. Not sure why it's called the Lover's Bench. Well, I'll let you decide. And there we go, you can see now the River Ness starting its journey all the way through Inverness City. Isn't that gorgeous? There's no fishermen out today, but normally you can see them wading out into the river. As I say, it is very, very shallow, the river. You can walk across it. Obviously, there's quite a tide today, there's quite a flow of uh, water there today so uh, wouldn't be advisable because that's quite a strong current and then to the right of the hills there that's the beginning of the great glen glen is the scottish word for valley and guess what's in the great glen the loch ness but the first lock you come to just in the distance there that's the entrance to loch dock 4 and that eventually takes you out to Loch Ness all the way down the Great Glen for 23 miles down to Fort Augustus. I hope you've enjoyed that short video folks from Dock Garrick. It's well worth a visit. The summer it's spectacular. Even on a day like today, quite a cool November day, it's still worth coming out. And there we go, you can see the Caledonian Canal and the River Ness behind me. So, from me, Brummie in the Highlands, glad you've enjoyed that. Uh, keep looking out for my other videos. Uh, my Facebook page is Brummie in the Highlands, if you want to go across to that. More videos you can access on YouTube. Uh, press the like button, press the subscribe button. And don't forget to press the little bell button as well because that will keep you notified of any future videos that I've got coming through. So, from me, Brummie in the Highlands, and from Doc Garrick, see you next time.